In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to drastically reduce the file size of your video while maintaining the high quality of your film using Handbrake. Basically, Handbrake is an open source video encoder that actually makes your video file size a lot more smaller in size and optimized, hence saving you a lot of time when it comes to transferring files or uploading them on the web. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to leverage this free open source video encoding program, Handbrake. Yo guys everybody, I'm Ray Moses and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Click on the notification bell below to stay updated whenever I upload a new video. Like this video and share it with your friend. To get the software, head over to their website and download it. It's completely free to download and it's compatible with both Mac OS and Windows. I've left the download link down on the description. So let me show you have recorded in RAW or your final export files from the editing software like Final Cut, Premiere Pro or DaVinci is pretty big. This is how you compress or convert these files to the smallest size without losing any quality. I mean, no quality will be lost. So normally if you record on a high bitrate or if your files are uncompressed, the final video is always pretty big. And also if you want to archive your files or you have a pretty slow internet like in Uganda for uploading on the web, it's always good to compress these files to get the smallest version of it in terms of memory. For example, this is a video I filmed uh, recently about how to create a side-by-side -side split screen effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. And when I exported the file, it was so big that I couldn't just upload on the web. This file would be a challenge if I wanted to upload it on the internet, or for if it was a client work and I wanted to upload it on my Google Drive or uh, upload it on Vimeo, it would really be so hard, or even when I'm uploading it on my channel on YouTube. So what I did, I put it on handbrake and compressed it and uh, I got really a good outcome out of it. To solve this problem, let's head over to handbrake and I'm gonna show you how to compress your file ASAP. So we're here on Nbrake and let's import our files. And there are two different ways of importing files. The first one is drag and drop. You simply drag the file, the video file that you want into Handbrake. The second one is you go to browser and you select a, a file that you want to convert, as simple as that. So we are right here on Handbrake and uh, the first thing I always do is uh, I go to my preset and then I click on the preset. There are a variety of different presets that comes pre-installed uh, on Handbrake uh, like this. Uh, there are a couple you can use according to your choice. Uh, there is the web and then you just, uh, you know, choose what you want according to your, uh, you know, preference. So what I always use is uh, I created my own preset that is a 4K 24p 10-bit HVC. That's what I always use. And then uh, when I head over here to the format, I just click on this uh, MP4. Uh, you can use MKV uh, or WebM, whatever you, you know, you, you want your final video to be. So this is what I always use MP4. And then when I head over here, uh, I always leave uh, this, uh, I always mark all this so that I have, you know, the best quality. And then, so w the next thing is uh, the dimension. So here you can play around with the dimension. You can flip, you can, you know, rotate your, your footage, you can, do whatever you want with your di uh, with the dimension of the image. So the next thing uh, I'll look at is uh, filters. And then here I always leave it just the way it is, but you can play around, you know, with uh, these uh, filters and, you know, and see how your final footage comes out like. So the next thing I always do is uh, I head over here to video and then I play with the video encoder. And then the one I always use is H265. 10 bit. You can, you know, choose whatever you want. There are a list of different ways you can encode your video. So I always stick with that. And then uh, for frame rates, I always lo uh, I leave it at same as source. And then I click over here and I make it constant frame rate so that it, you know, the frame rate doesn't change. So the next thing I do is with quality. And here I always leave it at 22. And as you see, when you increase this uh, to the right, uh, you'll get a way much better looking image with high quality, but the final uh, video or the final image will be, you know, pretty much big. Uh, meanwhile, if we uh, shift it to the left, uh, you'll get a way more lesser 
quality image. And uh, the final footage will have, you know, less, uh, in, will be small in terms of memory. And yeah, so what I always do, I just stick with around 22. Uh, that's where, you know, the quality is really good. At 22, just right there. And then there are these other option, audio, you can play around with it and uh, uh, subtitles, in case you have subtitles, you, you want to ban it in your video or not, you know, you can still play around with it here. And then the chapters, so that is it. So after I'm done here, I just head over to start and then handbrake will start rendering as you can see uh, right, right here. Uh, it shows you the percentage and then, and then the time uh, that your video will take. So now that we're done with compressing this video, let me show you the final video and you see how much you don't lose quality. It still remains the same and the, you know, the video is just still the same as uh, the previous one. So our final video has been converted on Handbrake and it's so freaking small. We made it, yes. So this is so amazing that it does not lose, you don't lose quality and your video is still so good uh, and compressed really so nicely. So Handbrake is a software that I recommend you to use to compress your video files to get the best quality, to get that crystal looking good quality in your video without, you know, losing anything like, uh, without degrading your image. If this video added value to you, please consider subscribing. Click on the notification bell below to stay updated whenever I upload a new video. Like this video, share this video, and click on the next video to learn about nine cuts every filmmaker should know. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.